the James Webb Space Telescope. What is it? And how far are we away from an actual launch? Join me and let's find out. James Webb Space Telescope is a space telescope that is planned to succeed the Hubble Space Telescope as NASA's flagship astrophysics mission. The James Webb Space Telescope will provide improved infrared resolution and sensitivity over Hubble and will enable a broad range of investigations across the field of astronomy and cosmology, including observing some of the most distant events and objects in the universe such as the formation of the first galaxies in the universe. The James Webb Space Telescope's primary mirror is a 6.5 meter diameter gold coated beryllium reflector with a collecting area of 25.4 meter squared. This is too large for existing launch vehicles so the mirror is composed of 18 hexagonal segments which will unfold after the telescope is launched. MIRI Mid-Infrared Instrument will measure the mid to long infrared wavelength range from 5 to 27 micrometers. It contains a mid-infrared camera and an imaging spectrometer. MIRI must not exceed 6 Kelvin. A helium gas mechanical cooler sited on the warm side of the environmental shield provides this cooling. The near infrared spectrograph will operate over a wavelength range of 0.6 to 5 microns. A spectrograph also sometimes called a spectrometer is used to disperse light from an object into a spectrum. Analyzing the spectrum of an object can tell us about its physical properties including temperature, mass and chemical composition. The atoms and molecules in the object actually imprint lines on its spectrum that uniquely fingerprint each chemical element present and can reveal a wealth of information about physical condition in the object. Also on the James Webb Space Telescope is an instrument called the Spacecraft Bus. It is the primary support component of the James Webb Space Telescope that hosts a multitude of computing communication propulsion and structural components, bringing the different parts of the Space Telescope together. The James Webb Space Telescope will observe primarily the infrared light from very faint and distant objects. In order to be able to detect those faint heat signals, the telescope itself must be kept extremely cold. To protect the telescope from external sources of light and heat, like the Sun, Earth and Moon, as well as heat from the telescope itself, Webb has a five layer tennis court sized sun shield that acts like a parasol, providing shade. The sun shield will allow the telescope to cool down to a temperature below 50 Kelvin by passively radiating its heat into space. The near infrared instruments will work at about 39 Kelvin through a passive cooling system. The mid infrared instrument will work at a temperature of 7 Kelvin using a helium refrigerator or cryo cooler system. The reason the James Webb Space Telescope has five layers instead of just a single thick one each successive layer of the sun shield is cooler than the one below. The heat radiates out from between the layers and the vacuum between the layers is a very good insulator. One big thick sun shield would conduct the heat from the bottom to the top more than the five layers separated by the vacuum. As of July 2020, the launch is planned for no later than March 2021 on an Ariane 5 rocket from French Guiana. The observatory attaches to the Ariane 5 rocket via a launch vehicle adapter ring, which could be used by a future spacecraft to grapple the observatory to attempt to fix gross deployment problems. However, the telescope itself is not serviceable and astronauts would not be able to perform tasks such as swapping instruments as with the Hubble Space Telescope. Once in orbit, the James Webb Space Telescope will be located near the second Lagrange point, also known as L2, of the Earth-Sun system, which is 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. 
directly opposite to the Sun. Normally an object circling the Sun further out than Earth would take longer than one year to complete its orbit, but near the L2 point the combined gravitational pull of the Earth and the Sun allow a spacecraft to orbit the Sun in the same time it takes the Earth. The telescope will circle about the L2 point in a halo orbit, which will be inclined with respect to the elliptic, and have a radius of approximately 800,000 kilometers, and take about half a year to complete. Since L2 is just an equilibrium point with no gravitational pull, a halo orbit is not an orbit in the usual sense. The spacecraft is actually in orbit around the sun and the halo orbit is thought of as a controlled drifting. To remain in the vicinity of the L2 point this requires the station keeping around 2 to 4 meters per year. Development began in 1996 for a launch that was initially planned for 2007 and a $500 million budget, but the project has had numerous delays and cost overruns and underwent a major redesign in 2005. Scope overall will be 25 years in the making when it launches, hopefully in March 2021. The telescope, once fully deployed, will have an unlimited view of the universe and give us a better understanding of the universe itself. I am sure the images will speak for themselves once this telescope and this amazing piece of engineering is up there in the heavens. I personally cannot wait for this telescope to launch and I'm literally counting down the months now. I cannot wait to see the images that this telescope will produce and give us some amazing views of the universe. Thank you for watching. This is Everything Space. Until next time.